Princess Bear here. We're back at Disney Springs because we have a random Sunday and not a lot of ideas we can do. So where do we end up? We're working city at City. Works. No, yeah, City, city Works. Bear loves city. him some City Works. Yes, well, as your number one choice in foodie infotainment, beverage entertainment, and food and beverages. So, of course, we're going to go and see what they got for us for brunch. Remember, I'm vegan. He's not. Let's go get some food. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. It tastes like pure grape juice, like Welch's sparkling grape juice. I love this. This is a 5 out of 5. This is a princess's item and very dangerous. This cider is more red butter than half of your relatives and probably tastes here. No, I'm not a cannibal. Keel Farms is a sort of snake its way into this world property. Not mad at that. The more tasty plant-based cider that we can get, the better. Ooh. Oh, no. they have That's one of those ciders I feel wouldn't give me a headache. Drinkability is like top tier. It's got a good flavor without tasting like artificial. I like that. Four and a half out of five plus. Here we have the Delirium Tremens. Every time we come to City Works, they have a new Belgian. I'm ordering it. I love Belgians. Victor Gold Monkey, Florida, the Funky Buddha Hefeweizen, all Belgian style beers. Uh, what is it? Uh, Trappist. Uh, Chime is sort of in there somewhere, but I love them Belgian style. Small and strong. Not like me. But I mean strong or small. Ooh. Nice deep flavor, some lasers, some buttsy. Tastes of the liquid bread, slightly sweet and not bitter. The way I like it. Four out of five plus. One of several vegan options available here at City Works, but the only one that I'm really interested in today, the fried pickles. They switch it with a vegan mayo. Let's go. Cheers. I love the crunch, I love the dippings, I love everything about this. I have hated on this in the past, but like, I really think this is my go-to snack when we come here. Like, if you're gonna come watch the game, get a couple of these pickles and just enjoy yourself. I will give it a four and a half out of five pickles. It is a very tasty option. It's funny, we always choose the oddest days to show up at City Works. City Works occupies a really odd spot. They have a lot of great beers. This is a good like hangout spot, but like when you come on like game days, or whatever sport, it's ridiculously busy. Well, uh, luckily today the, the post away was 40 minutes. We waited like 15 if that. Uh, we are not sports ball people. We don't do foosball. We don't do baseball, soccer, or really any sports whatsoever. But. I do enjoy a good sports bar, as weird as that is. So, I love sports bar food, and fried pickles is definitely that. I love that they have the vegan aioli. City Works is one of those weird places that you wouldn't expect to have a vegan option, but they have a few, and that, that's kind of curious to me, because there are other places around Disney Springs that have nothing, or next to nothing. You know, City Works, which is a straight and straight sports bar, you would not expect to cater towards our plant-based brethren, but here we are. Here we are. Breading on fried pickles is a mixed bag. It's either very good or very terrible. You get like one that's like incredibly breaded, or you get one that's like, well, they tried to bread it, but then like the breading washed off, and then it was like half breaded. These are in the uh, former category, but uh, are a bit greasy. Other than that, they're perfectly fine. Tasty, pickly, and the only. Being vegan, it's only a plus. I would give them as like a come here, watch the game, bar snack food. Four out of five plus. If you want to come here and watch the game and eat some fried pickles, then do that. Your friends won't even notice they're vegan. They really won't. So we don't come here to brunch very often. 
than usual we do, like today. It's an absolute accident. Uh, but the brunch menu has a lot of like authentic, well not say authentic, but unique items to City Works. Uh, I got the Chimmy Hendrix, which is basically a breakfast chimichanga. At the recommendation of the server, because I had no idea what to buy. Uh, am I a chimichanga person? I don't know. But breakfast chimichanga, for some reason to me, just sounded delicious. And smothered in the sauce, topped with cheddar cheese. Just give her a nice cut. It's nice and crispy. We got some egg and sausage on the inside. Very filled. Almost on the fork. Got filled. You got the meats in there. You got the egg in there. You got the nice chimichanga, crispy outside. We here for the flavor. Let's see if the flavor's here for us. It's a little bit on the spicy side. Maybe like three out of ten on the spice scale. If you're a spice head, if you're not, it's probably somewhere closer to five. One thing that City Works does well is it's spicy. They say it's gonna be spicy. You're gonna feel something. The uh, chimichanga is like mostly egg, and it's like a perfectly fried chimichanga. Like it's not like a little fried; it's very fried. It's not overly greasy. It definitely feels like breakfast. Something different. If you're looking for something deep fried and full of egg, this is it. If you're looking for something a little bit more meaty, you might want to go another direction. There's just not enough meat in here to justify that. I would give it. 3.25 out of 5 o'clock. It's a nice breakfast, but I don't know if I'll order it again. Now it also comes with some cheesy potatoes. I'm gonna take a very, very small bite. Because as I promised the community, I'm gonna take it easy on the cheesiness. This is cheddar with a bunch of chives. And then basically like hash brown potatoes in a bowl. Think about grits, but potatoes. Mm. This is very good. Deep chive, smoky cheddar cheese. If I had the ability to eat that, I would. I'm gonna take some magic melons, but there's literally no chance of me being able to make it like through this. It's basically potato mac and cheese. That level of creamy. For you cheese heads, you would love this. I give it four out of five bucks. City Works did the work. It, it's a vibe. Yeah, it was a good place for stopping for a drink and some bites. If you're a sports person, they have all the sports balls the wall. Uh, it's one of the few sports bars left here at Walt Disney World, so definitely check them out. If there's anything, obviously, that you guys think that we should try there, the menu doesn't change very often, but it's your number one choice in foodie infotainment. If you ask, we will go. The comments is always a place to find us. If there's anything else you'd like to see us do, hit the notification bell. We'll see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear will never eat another pretzel again. You heard the girl.